so much uh, for, for coming today. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Uh, Fearless is going to be muted now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for the Fearless interview. I'm going to crank the music here, and we got 10 minutes until Mando Trading comes in a stream, all right? Here's your music. You guys can jam out. Let's go! Woo! Hell yeah, bro! Let's go! All right, guys. I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'm going to get another drink, go to the bathroom, and take a bit of a reset here, all right? See you guys shortly.
the show that is about to take place. Welcome Benji, welcome Jay Parker, welcome Stomps Up Boutte, Fearless Trainer! J- uh, who else we got? JB Paper Stacks, Vanilla Daddy, Mr. Goodman, how you doing? Are we on fire tonight? Dang, dude! You guys are participating in the greatest stream of all time. Benji, how you doing? Omega-3, let's go. We're about to talk to the legendary Mando Trading, all right? I just poured another beer. I've got a shot with me, hopped and loaded. Welcome to stream, Queen of Tesla. Congrats again on your new mod uh, responsibility. All right, let's turn this down. I've got fearless on. Uh, sorry, not fearless. I've, I've got. Uh, oh my god! We've got Vanilla Daddy with the gifted sub. Let's go! Woo! Hell yeah, dude! Woo! Let's go, Vanilla! Yes! Woo! Representing GMT. I love it, dude. Hell yeah! All right, all right. We have crypto and stock market master Mando trading. Listen, guys, I love his TV show. I'm a big Star Wars fan, and now he's going to be one of the greatest traders of our generation. He's the next up and coming Zach Morris. We got Mando trading in the building. Let's go! All right. Let's get him on the call here. So I'm going to unmute my voice chat. Boom. 
Mando Trading, can you hear me, good sir? How are you today? Go ahead and unmute. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Love Glad it. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, yeah, no worries, man. We have a lot of fun here on uh, on the Twitch streams. Uh, 102 million, right? Love to have you. How's your weekend going so far? How's your Saturday been? It's good, man. I actually just got back. I was on vacation this past week. Uh, came back home. I'm just dealing with a little bit of uh, sun poisoning right now, burning, but <laughs> oh, I'm powering through, you know. Yeah, right on, yeah, man. I'm not ready for the sun, man. That New, New York is too cold. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's like when I go to the beach anywhere in Canada. Like I'm used to, I'm used to living in my little igloo. So as soon as I go to the beach, I just get fried, right? <laughs> Yeah, how, how is it up there right now? Is it still cold, or are you getting some nice days now? No, honestly, it, it's not too bad up here, to be quite honest with you. Like, uh, today was beautiful. Not a single cloud in the sky. Uh, it was a solid, like, 20, 21 degrees Celsius. So th th that's good weather for me. I, I love that. Dude, you lost me in Celsius. I don't even remember any of that. Crap, yeah. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, man. All right? Or whatever the hell it is, yeah. <laughs> Can someone convert 21 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit in the chat? That'd be great. <laughs> Dude, I think that's, like, that's a very low-key funny part about, like, FinTwit in general. Like, you can connect with people who live in completely different, uh, not not only climates, but just a completely different world. And uh, and everybody connecting all for the common goal. I think that is just really a cool thing, you know? Bro, 1,000%. I love that. Everyone's from different... It, you know, I, I was going to tweet this out the other day, and I didn't, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter what background you came from, you know, who you are, where you are, or whatever, the stock market is an equal opportunity entity that will allow anyone to change their life, and that's what I love about it, and so you see all these people from different backgrounds, you know, different places, all coming together for the same goal, right? We all want to be financially yeah. free, and, uh, and I absolutely love that. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. I mean, I'm just thinking of some people that, you know, I've become friends with on here. Um, nobody has the same type of job. Everybody does something different. Uh, you know, it's really about how much you put into it. And, you know, if, if you really want to learn you and you sit down, you put in the time, I mean, you're definitely going to see strides. I mean, I know a lot of people are willing to invest in, you know, shitty penny stocks and stuff. But ultimately, like, investing in yourself is the number one, man. And once I kind of got that mentality, I think that's when things started to change for me, you know? Hell yeah, I, I absolutely hear you. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's begin things here. So, uh, I'm glad you're having a great weekend. You're just coming off vacation from Miami. I've never been to Miami, but I heard it's kind of like, uh, like a big party. How was that in Miami? Dude, it's, a diff it's a different world, man. Yeah. As you can see, I'm here on a Saturday night with you. I'm not like a huge party dude anymore, <laughs> so... Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not old or anything. It's just, it's really not for me, but yeah, I honestly, you beautiful place. Um, wow. it's an awesome place to vacation, really nice restaurants, everything like that. Uh, for me to live there, probably not. Um, yeah. you know, it's just, it's, it's a different world, man. People, you know, staying out until 6am, you know, on, on, on a Tuesday, it's like, for me, that, that was not even me in college, <laughs> you know, the bar shut down here at three o'clock, we're going home, you know? Yeah. So. Completely different world. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I gotta visit Miami sometime. It, it sounds uh, a lot different from Canada. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. I actually never been to Canada. I know we talked about it a little bit the other day, but yeah, yeah. I definitely want to get to the Rogers Center and check out a game. Hell yeah, bro. That'd be dope. There's some nice yeah. hotels up here too in, in uh, Toronto. You, you enjoy it. Uh, you know, hit up the bars and stuff. We're still in lockdown though, bro. Like everything's closed. It's crazy, dude. I don't know how that how that's a thing. I mean, and that's another thing about Miami, man. Masks completely optional. Like wow, to the max, yeah, to the max. I mean, I get it. It's super hot there. Like you go outside the mask, you're gonna, you know, choke up. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's really a different world. I mean, everything was pretty much optional. Like New York, if you accidentally go into a supermarket and forget your your mask, you know, everybody's looking at you. People are making remarks, you know, things like really? that like down there. Just, nobody even batted it not, yeah. Wow, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. That, that's the same yeah. with uh, Canada right now. Like, if you don't wear a mask, like, in a store, so, well, well, you, well, you can't, to be to be quite honest. You right. can't. But uh, even outside, like, if you're not wearing a mask or something, you get looks. Like, people are like, what the hell are you doing? 
uh, you know, people are, uh, they don't get too close to you, stuff like that. It's crazy, dude. And then you look at the States and, yeah. and Florida and all that, and everyone's just chilling. Like, it's crazy. Different yeah. worlds, bro. Seriously, and it's, we're on the same continent. That's the crazy part, man. Right? It's like, you know, we, we live in a different world, but yeah. really, really not, you know? <laughs> That's it. It's crazy. Oh, man. So, love to have you here on stream, uh, Mando Trading. That's so cool. Uh, Absolutely, man. I want to give a shout out to my boy Dave. I know he's watching this right now. Yeah, Me yeah. and Dave have been boys since the high school days. Hell yeah. He's actually going to come up. I, I, I know uh, you kind of want to talk about like where I got started. I want to bring up, you know, we have a couple stories with me and him on, uh, you know, how we got going. He actually just finished law school. So um, I want to give him a shout out for that as well. Hell yeah, bro. Shout out to Dave, uh, Mando Trading's yeah. friend. Would love to hear that. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, so you know what? Let, let's kind of uh, let's get into things. Um, so I, I I do like kind of a, a PGI start a PGIR start when I have a new uh, trader on on the Twitch stream. So sure. what I want to know is um, how did you find trading? Okay, and and what really gave you the hook? Like what what started you really getting into it? Because I remember when I started. You know, I was talking to a buddy with it at this dead end job I was in. We both hated our, our lives there, and and he's like, "Yo, bro, I just invest in the spy and I don't touch it." And I was like, "Bruh, I'm gonna just throw tons of money in spy and just walk away." And and that that was the plan back then. You know what I'm saying? So so how did you start? And when did you really get the hook to start? You know, doing your swing trading, your day trading, your crypto. Yeah, dude. I mean, I mean. Uh, I'll keep it like more of a shorter end, but you know, in high school here, uh, you know, they force you to take, uh, you know, either like a, a politics slash economics course. So uh, when I first did that, they came out and they had this game, which was pretty much just paper trading, but it was called like how the market worked. So me and another one of my buddies, uh, we got teamed up in this, and we were like, "Yo, we're, we're gonna win this shit!" Like we were mad. We're you know we're baseball players, super you know competitive guys, like. And we were kind of, you know, the jocks. You know, we got a brain too, you know. We're not yeah. dummies. Yeah. So we went into this thing and we were really, like, crushing it, like, learning about all these companies and stuff. And we blew away the competition. We, wow. like, 5 x our, our account in that short, you know, obviously paper trading, but in that short amount of time, uh, you know, everybody else is losing money here and there, right? So, but then once that ended, we were kind of just like, all right, like, whatever. Back to baseball, like, don't care about it. So then... Fast forward like five years when I'm in my last year at uh, college. Gotcha. I, um, yeah, my last year at college, I was like, you know, weed is going to be legal coming soon. Like, yeah. I'm about to make, I'm about to be a millionaire <laughs> off weed. So I literally put like a hundred dollars into ACB thinking I was going to be a millionaire. Like, it's like a total idiot. Like, knew nothing about it. I was like, oh, I'm about to cash out right now. And I'm telling all my friends, like, yo, I'm about to get rich off these pop stocks. It's about to be legal here, blah, blah, blah. So it turns out that didn't work. I, I didn't, like, lose money or, or make really any. But um, that, that was me, like, you know, downloading, like, a Robinhood account, like, getting into it, like, right. kind of seeing how it worked. And then I would say probably, like, I would say, like, two months before um, COVID hit and torched everything, I started to be like, all right, you know, I'm making a little money now. Um, you know, I see all these People, you know, I don't live in the city of New York, but when I go there, I'm like, how the hell do these people have so much damn money, right? So I figured, you know what, let me start to at least kind of get an understanding of what's going on here. So I started reading a little bit, uh, watching some YouTube videos and things like that, and I was like, all right, like, I'm going to get into this. And then obviously you put it off, like, whatever, things come up. Mm -hmm. And then when everything crashed after COVID, yeah. I was like, all right. If this isn't the perfect opportunity, then yeah. I'm never going to have it, right? So, um, you know, I did have a lot of background knowledge from me, you know, not trading, but actually, like, learning, you know, certain terminologies and things like that. And I think that helped me along the way. But, um, yeah, I just, you know, got confident from doing all that, like, previous research and work. And then after that, I mean, uh, obviously, things went crazy last year. 2020 was an insane year on the market. And uh, I, I kind of got hooked, and now it's like I can't go a day without looking at this stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I'm freaking addict now. <laughs> Dude, I mean, there are definitely worse addictions, which is yeah. good, but, you know, now it's like, it, it, it's tough. I mean, you see, 
not only are things, you know, not going great in the market for, you know, what I was trading, you know, small caps and mid caps, yep. but I, I think overall, like, I'm really using this as like, okay, I'm not really losing that much money. Like, I can also use this time to really like get better at not only, you know, finding what's going to work in each specific market, you know, the turns, the cycles, but also to kind of, you know, really see if my DD and like my strategies work because, you know, a lot of people could say, yeah, I was doing DD on this, but like in reality, all you're doing is reading like what other people are posting on Twitter. So yeah, um, for me, it's like, I wanted to, I want to be like accountable for my own actions. I don't want, you know, I don't want to be like, Oh, you know, uh, Zach Morris called this out and I got burned on it. Like yeah. fuck this guy, like, I, right. Sorry, I don't know if I can cuss, but no, no you can I, cuss. I, Go yeah. ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, I, I don't, you know, I don't want it to be like relying on anyone else. So, you know, I, I found some, you know, especially recently when the market was poor and I wasn't really used to this kind of, um, trading atmosphere. I found some really good people that, uh, wow you know, not only, you know, kind of taught me more, but like gave me confidence because I think that's the most important thing in any avenue of life. Like if you don't have confidence in what you're doing, you are like beyond fuck. Exactly. So just another shout out right there at Stocks Pilgrim, really helpful guy, really based on education. I mean, wow, he's incredible. And then um, another one is at So Fl- Florida Trader. Okay. Excellent guy. I mean, really guys that are like, if you, if you ask them for something, they're going to, you know, come back with the best answer that they can help you with. You know, it's not like, uh, you know, just follow me and I'm not going to help you out or anything yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Like these guys, will, they'll help you out whenever you need. So I, I did have questions and I had people that I trusted to give me, you know, real answers. And that, I mean, I feel like that's helped immensely, you know. Wow. Uh, I think that's South Florida Trader there in the chat. SO underscore FL underscore Trader. Uh, if you want to, yeah, yeah. If if you want to post uh, your Twitter links in the chat, uh, Mr. South Florida Trader, that would be honestly perfect. If you could post uh, Mando Trading's Twitter, um, yourself, and any of the others that Mando mentions, that would be great. Um, we'd love to support that on stream here. So yeah, I mean, at the end, I'll, I'll um, you know, for anybody listening, I can I can plug. We um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm like loosely associated with. Uh, the trading boulevard. So I, I'm not a big Discord guy. I, I think it's really confusing and like it is. You know, it, it, it's a lot easier to, you know, kind of get after it on Telegram. It's just an app. You know, we just it's like a running chain. Oh. And uh, the guys over at Trading Boulevard, they have a free um, Telegram. We kind of just bounce ideas off each other, shoot the shit, and um, yeah. I mean, we got like a hundred guys joined in, guys and girls joined in. Um, you know, in a short amount of time. So it's cool. You know, just trying to like build a good community of like people you trust because going at this alone is dangerous man yeah 100 percent. i totally agree with you um but yeah that, that's really cool uh that story about how you started there that's very very cool um so moving things along uh let's talk a little bit about your your trading strategy and and you know because january was a totally different market right so absolutely how did you, what did you, what was your trading st- strategy in January and how did you modify it to play in a market like we're in right now? Yeah, so, um, you know, this is dating back to even, I, I would say about November. Um, so September and October, they were also pretty choppy. Um, you know, there was a few runners and I felt like I was always missing them. So I, I, I and once like November 1st came, like in my, uh, you know, on my chart for my overall portfolio, you'll see like once November happened, I really had like a nice run up because I, I feel like overall I was like, all right, this is the point where I'm going to stop just really relying on Twitter calls or, you know, things like that. And just like actually like really look into, you know, specific companies, especially SPACs, which are getting killed right now. But yeah, looking into SPACs and trying to find the companies that were potentially going to merge before everybody else was talking about it. Because if you were able to get in on one, like for instance, back in December, I saw, um, you know, I was on SPAC track and I was going through and I saw that Churchill Capital was one of like the biggest trust valued SPACs. And I'm like, huh, like I wonder who they're gonna get. And I got the tweet receipts for anybody who doesn't believe me. So I'll, yeah. I'll retweet <laughs> those too. But 
I tweeted, I was like, this is going to be huge. Like, <laughs> there are so many huge companies that this, that this, you know, SPAC could handle. Yeah, yeah. So fast forward a couple months. And at that point, I was just like, all right, you know what? It was like, like ten, it was $10 or something like that. Gotcha. I was telling my friends about it. Yo, got to get it, got to get it. I didn't get as much as I should have, but whatever. I, I got like 50 shares at that point. And then right. when, like, I think it was Color, Alex Color, who's also a very, very talented DD mm-hmm. uh, diver, but he, um, he tweeted something like, oh, Lucid uh, potentially going live with CCIV. And I was like, oh, let's go. Let's I go. Another, I added another quick at like 1180. Uh, bought again at 13. So I, I was in there for the whole run up. I didn't sell at the tippy top, but I sold at a, at a good enough amount where it wasn't a total L of a trade for me. But um, again, just going back and like really – you, you can't you can't always just rely on other people like for me like another one that i just found recently and it hasn't gone my way obviously because of the stack market but um the ticker hzon they um were in talks with um uh, sport radar and that's a company that me and one of my buddies were you know talking about for quite a while um, wow we were like yo if they go you know, if they go public, we gotta get we gotta get this back, like whatever they're going with. So yeah, um, the grumbling started to come out about that, and I was able to snag, you know, a little bit early, and then you know, four o'clock the next morning, it runs up to twelve bucks. You know, that's that's a two dollar uh, jump right there, in just a matter of a couple hours. So um, I was really more focused on DD swings, um, you know, in the past, but now you know it's really not working. Spacks are getting crushed. Yeah, uh, my baby pay safe. Uh, is getting absolutely hammered a, a post merger. Um, so yeah, right on. I mean, now it's um, you know with the help of you know like I was talking about uh, with SoFlow, like I, I had very like basic options understandings. Like I watched all videos I could possibly watch, but I you know and then it's like which ones do you want to go into? How far out do you want to do? And those little things that um, you know I learned you know with the help of others like. That's really been great for me in like this the past week when, you know, everybody was really complaining about how bad it was. Like I was doing great, you know, and that's kind of where I want to be at. I want to be able to make money in any market. Absolutely. Uh, okay. So uh, I have kind of a funny question for you. Uh, when yeah. So when you, uh, when you created your Twitter account, what made you choose Mando? What, how did that start? So believe it or not, yeah. Before I before I uh, I was Mando, I was actually another fake character. <laughs> and, uh, at, at this at this point, I only had like thirty followers. But um, so just a little bit uh, before that, I yeah. was just using FinTwit off my main account, my main Twitter account. And okay. You, and another reason why I don't do like a face reveal is just because like until I'm like credible and like. It's not like, oh, wow, he has, like, 30 followers. I think he's a stock guy. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to be like that. So yeah. I, I was like, all right, I don't want to be retweeting or asking people questions off my main account. I kind of look like, you know, I don't want – not that I really care what people think of me, but it's just like I, I'd rather just, you know, make my own burner account, whatever. And uh, so I was actually um, Danny Phantom for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was Danny Phantom Hell for yeah. a long time. And then uh, – and then when the Mandalorian came back around for right. season two, I'm you know I'm a big Star Wars fan, so bro, me too. Uh, when that came back around, I was like, yeah, I was like, dude, this is perfect. I went yeah. on and like saw so many cool like pictures that I could use as my like my yeah. avatar. And believe it or not, I, I mean, you know, I'm I'm I really don't care like about how many Twitter followers I have and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Endgame is like, yo, as long as my account's moving up, like, right. I don't really give a shit about my Twitter account, but like, exactly. Um, yeah, but like it, it was still cool. But once I did that, and I had the cool image, and like, yeah, I, I think people were really like, "Oh shit!" Like maybe this dude can like help me out, and like, yeah, which is crazy because I never would have expected that. But a lot of people are saying like, "Wow, dude!" Like, you know, this video that you you sent me, or the DD that you dropped on this, and I went and looked a little deeper, and it worked out. Like, it really helped me. Like, thank you. And it's like, damn, that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? That's dope. It's the best feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Nah. And. It really wasn't what I intended because I was I was just really using it as a way to, you know, get information and like you know right. kind of pick people's brains about it. But um, 
you know, it, it's been really cool. And, you know, I made a lot of good friends off this too. Yeah, I agree, man. It, it's been kind of the same sort of for me. Like, for 100 uh, underscore million, my, my goal was honestly just to track my progress. That's why I made this Twitter account, was to get information um, and, and track my progress. I was just going to post right. P&Ls every single day and uh, just, you know, at the time, you know, I was playing these call-outs from Zach Morris and, and PJ, excuse me, and stuff like that, right? And so I just made this account to uh, to kind of be like, all right, you know, I'm at 100 bucks. now I'm at uh, 500 now I'm at 2000 and I, I made my way to $4,000 within a month. Um, wow, and, that's awesome, man. Bro, it was insane. I, I, you know, I, I'm not going to give it all to, to myself. Uh, at the time, I, I really didn't know too much what I was doing. I got lucky um, playing some Zach Morris calls. Like, I was in on AMC uh, under $5, and I sold at around 15 So that tripled my wow, account. Yeah. Right? So, uh, awesome, dude. Yeah, I, I, I beat him to the punch there, too. I, wow. Me and my friend um, at Terminator, we both got an AMC Sub 3. Wow, um, let's go. And, and, and our thing with AMC was, like, it, we didn't we didn't really, you know, say, oh, short squeeze, this, that. We were more into, like, yo, like, movie theaters are going to open up soon, right? Yeah, like, man. We're, we're going to be okay, like. And we were gonna play that as like a longer swing move, but um, and then like all the hype started going towards it, and you know it worked out well for us. We we kind of got suckered um, by Robinhood, unfortunately. Like we could have sold at, at a much higher price, but um, you know profits profit. You know it sucks, but if you look at you know if you look back on everything that you didn't you didn't take, it's gonna kill you. So you gotta just uh, put that in the rearview mirror and just keep going forward. Yeah, 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 and that, that's that's why you're the freaking man, dude. Like, your, your DD's insane, bro. I've been watching you for a while now. Um, I, I really appreciate the follow on Twitter. I noticed you're following me. I was like, damn, that's cool. Freaking uh, the Mandalorian's following yeah. me. Hell yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's another thing. I mean, I, I listen, I would love to follow everyone um, on for here, sure. but it, it's tough just because, like, I, I think that if, if I'm following, like, 4,000 people, it's going to be super hard for me to, like, actually, like, find information from exactly. other places that I, yeah. you know what I mean, to put together. So it's like, you know, and I, I mean, everybody's cool about it. Like, it, yeah. it's not a big deal, and I'm not doing it to be a jerk or anything. It's just like, I, I you know, for me to, like, try and find the best information for everybody else, like, exactly. I got to kind of, you know, keep it low. I mean, <laughs> I, once, once I do the face review, I'll follow you all back on my, <laughs> my, new, my normal account, you know? But, yeah, yeah. No, no, Twitter's know. a tool, man, and that, that's why I first downloaded it as well. Like, just to, to see what... Honestly, when I first got Twitter, it was to track my progress and to see where the volume was at. And so I would follow uh, anyone who was tweeting out, you know, this stock is moving, this stock is moving. And I kind of used yeah. that as my free scanner. And that's how I found uh, found plays. And then, you know, I I'm in Canada, cool. right? So we have unlimited day trades. Um, so Wow. Yeah, I, I, I know, that's bro. That's something that I didn't know. And that is insane because right? I know a lot of people who are like, oh, yo, I just like... I can't wait to get to 25k and like that's that's almost dangerous though because like, yeah. if, if you get to 25k or you just put 25k in without really um you know having a good understanding of you know any any backgrounds in the market like you that 25k can you know uh you know start to drain out pretty quickly oh, so yeah bro um so i get it like i understand where it's coming from but at the same time for people who you know maybe have a you know, just like a separate account that they want to use and they do have an understanding i think it's a bs rule so yeah. for Canada to not have that, that's awesome. It's dope, dude. And it, and it makes sense. Like, I, I don't know why. Like, I know in the States, it's like for your safety or whatever, you can't pattern day trade. But, I mean, like, at the same time, it's like if you're restricting this hard, they're going to lose money because you'll buy into a stock to, to sell it and, and you can get trapped in it pretty easily, right? And that, that, I think that's what happens yeah. to a lot of people. They buy into a day trade on a call out and they end up bag holding it as a swing. Right, and that goes into, you know, I didn't really get super in-depth on, like, my whole, like, day-to-day -day strategy, but um, if, I, if I'm taking a, a trade that I'm not, like, one million percent positive that, I, you know, I can hold and go up and down with it, I'll just set a quick stop loss, like, very, very close to where I bought in at, and if I if it goes wrong, it goes wrong, but, yeah. you know, I have the luxury to do that because I'm over that PDT, <laughs> as, you know, whereas other people, like, um, you know, maybe take a play, and they're like, oh, shit, it, it didn't go the way that I wanted to go, and now I'm stuck because I don't have another day trade. So um, 
I, I think that's you know a little bullshit, but yeah, I, I get it at the same time. I mean, it's probably saved um, a lot of people some money just sure. because you know a lot of people would have drained their accounts much quicker. Yeah, and, and that that's kind of what I worry about. Like when uh, you know, I, I I get a lot of DMs, questions. I'm sure, you do as well. Um, the people who are looking uh, forward to to getting uh, above that PDT rule, uh, like everyone wants to get there, but then it's like once you get there. Um, are you going to blow up your account or are you going to learn right. how to trade properly, right? Because it's so easy with, when you get unlimited day trades to really just blow things up. Uh, what advice do you have right. to people who, who have finally, after you know so much hard work, have gotten above PDT? What advice do you have so they don't blow up their account? Well, I mean, if they got there, you know, um, you know, based on trading their own strategy, I would just always say stick to your guns. I mean, if, if what you were doing was working uh, to get you there, just stick with it. I mean, I, I know it's a big number, and obviously losing twenty five thousand dollars would absolutely suck. But um, if, if you got there, you know, from growing your own account, like that's awesome. And always stick to your plan and have a plan going in on trades. But um, you know, for people who maybe just deposit, you know, thirty k and are hoping for the best, I would say, uh, you know. Link up with some people that you, you feel like you can trust I, and, you know, kind of talk through trades with them. And that's why I think, um, you know, having this telegram is awesome because there are some people in there who, you know, they're just newer. I mean, it's, it's, you know, experience is obviously important here. So, you know, if you don't have much experience and you probably have a million questions with no one to answer, then you feel like you're hopeless. I mean, if you have other people that will answer, and I mean, that's like a big thing of mine, like, my DMs are always open. I feel like if anybody has a question, I'm, I'll help you as much as I can. I don't know everything. I'm, I mean, I still learn every single day. I mean, mm -hmm. so, like, but for me, like, I'll try and help anybody as much as possible. And if I don't know, I'll reach out to other people who I've connected with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they have a better answer for me. And I, and that's the thing. Like, we, we have, like, a really good, like, resource in Twitter. Like, exactly. It, it's excellent. And now, especially with spaces, like, now you can, like, put a voice to you know, with the burner Twitter account and like, yeah, you, you almost feel like you know these people. Exactly. And, Spaces is dope, man. Right. And, and I mean, overall, I mean, I really have not run into like a bad person. Like sure. No. There have been like some trolls, but like you just clap back at them and then that's yeah. pretty much it. I mean, it is what it is, but I mean, Twitter's you're, you're getting trolls even on your personal account, Yeah, with, you know, a couple hundred followers. So I, I mean, if, if you're not built for Twitter, um, you know, there's a lot of paid rooms out there and stuff like that. But exactly. I think Twitter's awesome. I mean, Me you too. Just click a click a little cash tag, and it'll take you to you know what everybody's talking about on there. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. Damn yeah, it! He's, he's, he's had a couple too many beverages. Yeah. <laughs> so, so am I gonna be the next guest on Stock Talks, or, or what's the deal? Yeah, dude. Um, we would definitely like to have you on because um, when you, I, I don't even remember really how we linked up. Maybe we got tagged in the same post or something. Maybe, like that. yeah, but yeah, yeah. I saw you know your your idea behind um, you know you pretty much tracking your progress. I think that was awesome. Like, thank you. Um, having somebody on on that like on that end because we try to like get a bunch of different people, not only um, you know for their you know for their background or their huge Twitter following, but like. If, if you have, like, a really cool idea, like, a couple months back, I, this account is pretty much deactivated now. But there was a guy who was um, pretty much keeping track of, like, a lot of uh, Twitter accounts, like, you know, their call-outs or their watch lists, and they, and they would, like, show percentages off of that. I forget what yeah. the hell. Oh, Wall Street Next, it was called. Okay. And this guy had an awesome idea. And... You know, it was like it was like a little game, and it was cool. Like I, I felt like I had to be accountable if I was, you know, if this guy, you know, was taking like three of my tickers. Like I wasn't gonna put out bullshit and like look like an idiot in front of, you know, his, his following. So, um, you know, I thought that was a really cool idea. Like that's somebody we had on. Like we had this guy wow. um, Stocks Pilgrim on, who literally when we started following each other, he had like four hundred followers. He's well over five thousand now. Like wow. he blew up because he's. He's really good at what he does. Like yeah, it's yeah. just you know the bottom line. Um, we just had El Professor on. Um, he's from the UK. Like he's more of an investor. Like DD, unbelievable. So like getting people from all different like uh, 
you know, I guess paths in the market. I, yeah. Like, that's something that me and Terminator Jaden wanted to, uh, you know, wanted to do from the start. And, uh, I mean, it's been pretty cool. Uh, o- overall, I would say, like, it just sucks because our, um, you know, our platform, we were using Periscope and Twitter Live, which was okay because it was able to save what we were doing. So if people weren't yeah. able to watch live, they could watch it back later. So now we use um, StreamYard, which is cool. I think Spaces is the best, but Spaces doesn't save at the moment, uh, as far as I know. So we're still kind of working out, you know, what would be our, you know, our best option gotcha. for doing it. But it's been fun. I mean, we, you know, we're in it to learn too. I mean, Terminator always says, like, dude, we're 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 idiots. Like, we're not experts. <laughs> you know, we're trying to learn just as much as everybody else. And Hell yeah! There are people with twenty years of experience in the friggin' market. Like, why right? not talk to them and learn from them? Yeah, that's like me too. Like, I, I, honestly, that's why I started this Twitch stream. Like, I, anyone who posts in the comments, I'm I'm willing to uh, to learn from you guys as well. Anyone in the chat, like, I only started day trading in in freaking uh, January, right? So, like, I don't know everything. I, I'm just taking what I've learned so far, and I'm applying that, and and I'm making some money. So that, that's pretty much about it, guys. Right? So I, I'm willing to learn from every, anybody. Uh, what I like about Twitch is that it'll save the video. Um, and then what I do now, it, I haven't uh, kind of announced it yet, but I have a YouTube channel running, um, and nice. and these nice. videos will they'll upload to YouTube after, so we'll have these saved forever, guys. Um, so if you want to come back and kind of check it out, that'd be really cool. Oh, absolutely, and and I can't see um, your Twitch uh, chat right now, so if anybody has any questions feel free to shoot me a dm or something like that yeah, yeah. i'm more than happy to answer uh let, i can I, I have it right here i can read you a few um sure let me scroll up if anyone has any questions for mando trading uh please post in the chat i will read them out live for you right now all righty um we have one here from the franchise uh what is the biggest lesson you've learned in trading Oof. <laughs> right? um, uh, all right i mean this is over, like i think this is more of like a psychological thing but gotcha. you cannot go into a trade uh maybe a long-term investment expecting to lose like if you go into that with that poor mentality like you're you're fucked off the jump like uh maybe you'll get lucky and it'll go your way but um like I was saying back in October, I mean, um, I, I was, you know, lucky enough that the months prior to that were awesome. So I had some flexibility, but like October sucked for me. Like I was like really down on it. I was like, oh, like what the hell am I going to do? Like this yeah. sucks. Like I really thought like I could have made something out of this. And then like, right, like probably like a week before Halloween, I was just like, why am I talking like this? Like, stop being a little bitch and like <laughs> go at it aggressive. Like, in, in sports and everything else in life that I ever encountered, I was always like a, a go getter and aggressive, not just sitting back and like let my ass get beat. You know what I mean? Like, even in video games, I suck at video games, but like, yeah, I'm not backing down. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, it. I'll go against anybody. Like, whatever. Bring and it on. I was like, why am I acting like this? Like, this is very out of character. So like, for me, it was like, yo, stick true. Like be aggressive, like, don't, like, if it doesn't go your way, like, fuck it, like, on to the next, like, I'm gonna make this work, I'm not gonna, you know, get worked by this thing, like, hell yeah, and, um, and then, uh, obviously, it helps when the market is, like, generous to you, but, like, yeah, 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 but I, I, but I feel like I, I play, like, even now, like, the last, like, three weeks, like, up to that point, I was in that little funk again, and then over the last three weeks, I really adjusted, like, my style, like, learned from other great traders, and, and now I'm, like, kind of doing it on my own and you know I, I see progress and i'm like this is awesome like i can do this you know and you kind of get that confidence and you get rolling but definitely like stay true to you like have a plan because that's that's really the most important i mean you, you know going into a trade blind off somebody's call on twitter is, definitely it, it could be dangerous man especially yeah. if you go heavy too heavy and you you blow up your account you exactly know, want to do that now have you ever blown up an account <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, I've, I've got, I got lucky. So nice. Um, the biggest trade for me that really, um, you know, kind of gave me the flexibility to like learn on the fly with this was back in, I'd say probably about last April, 
I bought a ticker. It's not even a ticker anymore, but it was ERI. It was El Dorado Resorts and Casinos. Um, it was like a sixty dollars stock. It crashed because of COVID, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was able, I was able to get in around eleven dollars, and um, you know, it was a longer swing. I wrote it out. It ended up merging with Caesars, uh, so it's under the ticker CZR now. But um, I was able to sell it like sixty five. So that gave me like a huge amount of flexibility going forward. Um, and there was another bio play that I did. Um, I'll have to I'll have to look back at that. Yeah, yeah, no but worries. It was one that that it was in the um, you know, it was in the talks for you know potentially being one of the COVID vaccines or something like that. So I was okay. playing that like daily and like you know at the end when I sold it, it didn't have that like that number because I bought and sold like a hundred times. But wow. it, overall, it was another big gainer for me. Um, and then, you know, going a, a little bit further down the line, um, when, uh, PIC, which was a SPAC, Pivotal Investment, it, um, it merged with XL Fleet. I don't gotcha. know if you guys remember that yeah. day was insane. It was like two days before Christmas and like, yeah. dude, this thing, this thing <laughs> ripped. I, I, my average price was like 14. It ripped all the way up to like 33. Oh my and God. I, and I was heavy, heavy shares. I, I had a Hell lot yeah. in it. It was getting the pump from like Kramer and stuff like that. So, Merry fucking Christmas, uh, eh? Lot. Yeah, it was really, <laughs> right. It was a really nice gift. I mean, like it was on my grandpa's birthday, so I was like, "Yo, Bro. sending me that gift." You know what I mean? It was just like it was too weird and awesome, but like you know, I, I also like mess around with like um, you know I don't use TD, but I have like a little account there that like, I mess around like with my parents and stuff like yeah, and that hit for them too, so it was sweet. Yo, that's dope, dude. Um, yeah, man, it was cool. We have a question here from uh, South Florida Trader. Uh, what was your best and worst trade since starting? Uh, my best trade, I would probably overall have to say it was XL. Um, so PIC to XL, that merger. Just because um, it was it was a really talked about um, ticker all over. I mean, it was one of the hyped up stacks and stuff like that. But I, I feel like I didn't you know, follow everyone else's lead on that one, if that makes any sense. I mean, yes, it was talked about, and, you know, I looked at it because of that, but I, I feel like I was going deep into, you know, my own due diligence on that one. So when it did hit, I just felt, you know, it was like a game changer for me. Like, I was like, holy shit, like, I didn't listen to anybody else on this one, and it went absolutely insane. So that was a good one. ERI was another one. I just figured that, you know, once COVID was over, I mean, I didn't think it was going to take this long, but... um you know, that was going to bounce back. Casinos, I mean, still, I, I just played, um, what was it? Uh, uh, Sands Las Vegas. I played that last week. I made a good chunk on that. Um, but, you know, like, those kind of plays, like, that's what, like, gave me the confidence to continue on doing this because, you know, going into it, like, I had some background knowledge because I did, you know, I did a lot of reading and stuff before everything happened with covid because I knew I wanted to get into it eventually. But then when you throw yourself into the mix, it's like, right. it's the wild west. Man. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, it, uh, it, it gets crazy. But, <laughs> and then to um, back, I'm trying to, um, back to South Florida Triggers um, question, my worst, I, I've had some bad ones, uh, a bunch of bad ones, honestly. I mean, it, it, you know, for people to never have a red day, I mean, like the guy from Atlas said. PJ. It's crazy, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm, you know, great for him, but like, I don't, I don't know how it's possible. That's crazy, but, dude. Um, yeah, no, I mean, there's been a lot of red days for me, but me too. I'm trying to think what exactly my worst one was. Um, maybe, maybe Clover. I, I mean, yeah, that that one. Big bag that holder. One sucked. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I cut, I cut my losses. Down, yeah. You know, but I, I went like super heavy on that one so that right. was kind of like a dumb move i was like yo this is a no-brainer like i'm gonna just load the shit out of this one and just let it fly that one sucked um uwmc was another one and that's a company i still don't understand how it's so like so it, cheap it, actually, i don't even know yeah i think it's like a seven dollar ticket right now I, wow. I don't i don't get that i still don't Crazy, get that. I mean, clover i know had Clover had the Hindenburg um, short report on it and stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. so I guess I understand that one a little bit. But like UWMC, besides the fact that it was this back that merged, I, I really don't. I, I had a lot of belief in that one. I, that one didn't really kill me, but 
Um, that one sucked. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to, I, I, I got one more for you for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I, I mean, a couple weeks ago, I had some shitty uh, Twitter haul options that got absolutely murdered. Oh, um, brutal. Yeah. I, yeah, it was actually... Believe it or not, it was on that it was on that day where after hours when the earnings report dropped, Twitter okay. was like all over the place. Like it was on uh, CNBC. It dropped like ten bucks. Oh and my god! I was holding like You're holding calls. 10, uh, yeah, I was holding like ten. Oh bucks. no! Like, I got on that one, but it's all good. I mean, yeah, that was a learning experience, and that that kind of uh, you know it helped me a few other places because I I. I learned right off the bat i was like yo i'm not holding through earnings right now like it's dangerous out here i like yeah i, could have, I would have been holding like disney through earnings which i didn't um <laughs> another one was qdl qdl i i could have held that one through earnings i didn't um that tanked and then it ripped back up i mean but w- whatever i i just felt like holding through earnings was a dangerous thing and yeah uh, especially, especially right now. now yeah man it, it, everything's just and, and it, if it's loosely tied to a stack it's getting crushed yeah, it's um, crazy, man. Anything that really Kathy Wood is touching is getting crushed. Yeah, which to me, like, that's a great, that's a great uh, opportunity to buy some of these companies. Definitely. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know, um, you know, so, so South Florida is big on um, Palantir as well. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much longer this thing's going to be at twenty dollars. <laughs> so that was a good time to load up, you know. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, we're at thirty-three viewers right now. Um, if everyone could uh, retweet my tweet and, and put this out there and get some more viewers in the house, that'd be freaking awesome. i uh, got a few more questions in chat for yeah. you. Uh, okay. iPhobus says, I just got here. Uh, if it hasn't been asked, is there any kind of learning source, books, video, whatever, uh, you found invaluable or mandatory for learning trading? Uh, he's a new trader. Yeah. Um, you know, to be honest with you, like, I was I'm, I'm never really, like, a big reader. Like, I, I, I always felt like kind of doing it, you know, learn by doing. It's, like, a, a philosophy by a guy named John Dewey. It's, like, and this is, like, an educational thing. It's, like, if you do something, you have a higher chance of, like, learning how to actually, you know, do it. Like, you know, you want to take that knowledge and actually, like, process it. So um, I would say, like, just mess around with paper trading. I, I know it sucks and, like, it's not real money. Like, Use the val like make your whatever your account in paper trading what you would be using on a normal day to day and just you know start working on that and you know see if you know maybe you can uh, pick up some tendencies in a ticker because a lot of these tickers have a personality and a lot of them are I wouldn't say easy to play but you could definitely pick up these patterns in them and you know make some quick coin off that. Um, YouTube's a great one for me. I mean, yeah. whatever I wanted to learn, uh, YouTube is always there for me. Oh, YouTube's got um, everything, man. Yeah. We're I mean, so lucky. Also, yeah, seriously, we have so many resources now yeah. to, you know, get good at this thing. And, exactly. Um, one thing I would say that's been super helpful for me right now was um, Fibonacci. I don't know if you, you know much about Fibonacci, but... Yeah, um, I use it a bit. I would, yeah, I would, I would tell everybody... Um, you know, that's, that's a super important one to learn. Um, okay. and it's really not that difficult. Um, but that, that's been helping me so much because of this choppy market. I'm really, um, you know, I've been more active day trading than, you know, swinging or investing long term. So, nice. um, just knowing those different levels, that's been like a huge, huge plus for me. Gotcha. Uh, so you're, uh, like you just said, you're not really uh, long investing right now because it's losing money and uh, swing trading because it's a bit more risky. Um, so you're more into into day trading now, correct? And uh, and yeah. And, and what are your thoughts on do, cryptocurrency? Have, yeah, I'll get back to that. But I do yeah. have an account. Um, I've been adding some things. I mean, like right now, I think Disney is like an over brainer. Uh, I mean, it got crushed on earnings, but it's. Uh, I, I mean, everything's reopening. You know, the parks gonna reopen. It's pretty much a growth stock now with Disney Plus. Um, yeah. I don't know how much longer we're going to get at this price, and I don't see it going anywhere ever. So, um, I so I added a lot of Disney uh, to my longer account um, in my Roth. But nice, um, yeah. So, anyways, cryptocurrency. Um, I'm actually super bullish on cryptocurrency overall. Okay. Um, 
I, I would say that there are a lot of them out there now that, you know, I don't think will be around, you know, 12 months from now. Yeah. But what I will say is, um, you know, if a country is printing, I, I think the number is like 22%. So if a company is printing 22% of the entire uh, money that's ever been printed in one year, in the last 12 months, which the U.S. did, um, I, I mean, inflation is a real thing. And I think crypto is designed to not be devalued, if that makes any sense. Right. I mean, I, I, you know, money, if people like really understood how money worked, they would understand that it loses value. So I, I think the whole idea behind crypto is that it's going to continuously be more valued, you know. Gotcha. Uh, what are your major yeah. crypto holdings? Like, what what are you uh, the most bullish on right now? Um, my my biggest holding right now is um, Algorand. It's the ticker ALGO. Okay. Um, and and this does, and I, don't anybody who's holding some of these that I'm going to talk about in a second don't take it the wrong way. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I do yeah. like I do like Bitcoin. I do like um, Ethereum and stuff like that. Definitely. Um, Bitcoin's been getting killed. And 100%. do I think that's going to, you know, last forever? No. But what I will say is I think um, now there are just, you know, blockchain technology that's better. You know, it, there's just better alternatives now. You know, Bitcoin was like the first. So, I, I, you know, I'm not saying that it's, you know, it's, it's shit or something like that. But like, for instance, like Algorand, like the, you know, the transaction per second are just like a million times faster and cheaper than what it would cost to send on something uh, uh, like your in Ethereum. Like Ethereum costs a lot of money and gas to send something, you know. So yeah, um, you know, like it, it, there's there's pros and cons to all of them. Like Bitcoin is the first, and like I don't think it's going to be like martyrs, but like I I don't know, you know. It's just I feel like it's kind of like a little bit older. Um, Whereas now maybe technology is advanced and kind of surpassed it. So I, I really like Algorand. And in addition to that, it's um, if you just hold it on Coinbase, like you put a you know put whatever amount of money you want in there, you're getting six percent APY. So uh, you know every day I log in and I have more, you know, just because I'm wow. you know parking some money in there. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Um, okay, well, let's talk a little bit about uh, sector rotation. Kind of touching on Techno Queen of Tesla's question there. Uh, so obviously small caps is, is, is kind of not the ideal uh, swing or trading market to be in right now. Uh, when do you think small caps will heat up again? Oof. Um, so I, I had like a little bit of like a conspiracy theory on this whole thing. Yeah, uh, over let's the hear it. Couple months. Like, yeah, so I, I, I was always one of the people who believed like this was the way that the hedge funds were kind of getting back at, you know, retail and that's for, what I think so know, too. The GameStop. Yeah. yeah. The GameStop, the AMC, the costs, um, naked yes. was another one. So I, I thought that was kind of, um, you know, a way for them to, um, you know, get back at little guy in a sense, because, you know, they, uh, they got burned. A lot of, a lot of people lost money and that's the bottom line. And like now I was, and then like going forward, I was thinking, you know, now, you know, it's earnings season, uh, you know, or over the last couple of weeks, it was at least that once these companies who they pretty much drained and shoved to the ground, um, you know, they're at a discount price. And if some of these did good earnings, like there's your catalyst right there for them to get in really low and make some more money off of it that way. Um, that was, you know, what I was thinking prior. Um, you know, it hasn't really happened up to this point. Uh at least in the small cap land. I mean, but there, I really think there are a lot of good companies that are just super undervalued. Yeah. Um, and this has just kind of been a correction that's going to take the whole entire uh, market with it, you know, rather than a specific, you know, a certain ticker itself, you know. Gotcha. So uh, overall, I, I mean, I, I'm still not at the point where I think we're in any sort of crash, but no. Um, I, I, would, I would say sooner than later. I know that's not the answer you really wanted, but I, I would say um, a lot of people are saying, oh, maybe because of taxes, you know, the the, the tax uh, the tax season is over, Yeah. Um, I think, what is it, Monday. So people are saying, oh, maybe, you know, after their taxes, they're going to put more money in. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm, I kind of, like, got over guessing with it and then just 
kind of figured like, all right, I got to figure out another way to make some money right now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not working for me. The waiting game sucks. I'm, you know, it, overall, I'm a pretty impatient person. You know, I like to to get some uh, validation quickly. So I was like, all right, I got to I gotta figure this out. I mean, yeah. some things are moving. It's just not what I was holding at the point. So exactly. Cut a couple bags and went, went on with my life. And, you know, it's been much better since then. Definitely. So I've been playing a lot of uh, recently because I used to be kind of like this sort of uh, small caps guy. And that's kind of what I was known for. Um, and right. recently I've been getting into um, options trading because my, my broker, I'm with IBKR. And they've been okay. such a pain in my freaking ass, dude, about trying to trade OTC stocks. Because OTC is lighting up right now. Uh, and yeah. I'm just wondering, are you in any OTC stocks? Do you play OTC at all? Because I don't. So, um, you know, over like the last year, I, I really didn't play like any OTC stocks like at all. Right. Um, but more recently, uh, they, they were doing well. And, you know, a lot of people that I trusted were, you know, talking about, um, you know, specific tickers. And and I, w- I wouldn't say pumping them up. It's just like they're they're delivering information to me and I'm digesting it. And there were a few that I liked and I saw like, a, you know, higher ceiling. So I, I think right now I'm actually in two. I'm in um, GGII. Nice. And, um, yeah, and ILUS, I-L-U-S. That I one hasn't do done much right now, but I think that's going to be more of like a longer, longer swing play. Okay. Um, there was another. There was another one that I played the other day that did pretty well. I think it was NGCG or something like that. Right. I, these tickers are crazy. I don't know. I don't even remember. But um, that one did pretty well for uh, for a day or two. Um, yeah, I'm kind of quick on the trigger with those. I, you know, as fast as they go up, they can go down. You know, twice as fast. So yeah, I, yeah. I'm kind of just in and out on those, just trying to build up my TD account that I don't really use much. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. No, that that's great. Uh, do you play any options at all? Um. Yeah. So in the past, I was a little, you know, a little bit afraid of them. You know, they're you know everybody kind of makes it sound so scary, but um, I would say probably over the last month and especially this past week. Um, I, I, I rarely buy like any, you know, commons. I'm, I'm pretty much all options based at this point. I, I have a couple bags that I'm still holding because I totally believe in them long term. And, yeah. But, um, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's mostly been options trades in my portfolio for, I'd say probably the last, you know, four weeks, probably I'd say. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Um, so we're kind of uh, getting towards the end here. I, I, I want to ask you, um, what do you think about market conditions overall? Are we in kind of a bear market right now, or do you think we're getting closer to a, a reversal, or do you think there's more of a pullback coming? Um, I, I think uh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be fair for me to say that this is a bear market. I mean, I really don't think I've experienced a, a real bear market yet, just because I'm. I'm relatively young in this game, so yep. uh, you know maybe being a little bit trader who's been more around the block more than me would know. I mean, yeah, this this pullback sucked. I mean, and and the worst part about it really is like if you look on TV and you see like you'll see Dow's buy and uh, Nasdaq all green and like everything in your account is red. It's crazy, <laughs> but uh, like right. overall, I, I I do think we're gonna spin this around. Um, I I don't think. You know, at the, this moment right now, I don't think we're going to have a major, major setback. Um, do I think one's going to come at some point? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, maybe within like the next, you know, nine, fifteen months. But uh, right now, I think we'll bounce back. I mean, it, it just went. You know, I've been saying, oh, you know, March is going to be good. Nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's be good. Nope. You know. It's, nope. It's, 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 and that, yeah, exactly. And that's why I'm just like, all right, this ain't working. Being, yeah. Being like, you know, hopeful is just, you know, I, I got to like, you know, make it myself. I, I can't like wait on, you know, everything to come back. But what what I will say is when it does come back, it's going to be fucking awesome. Bro. Right? Everybody's going to be having a blast playing these things when they rock it like they Hell used yeah. to. Like, think, thinking about like being in a, a ticker like that uh, gets halted, like, that hasn't happened to me in so long, <laughs> but like, and obviously, like when it gets halted, it's scary as hell. But like that rush, 
it's oh, like crap, bro. man. It's like, holy shit. Hey, I called this gonna one. Keep going or yeah. I'm going to set a stop. Like, yeah, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, like, yeah. Think quick. And I, and I like that, man. That's like uh, the fun part of it, you know, I, especially when I could sit there and look all day. Like some days I can't. <laughs> so like that sucks. But like when I can sit down and get like really into it, like it's a lot of fun. You know? Oh, yeah. Dude. So I. And it's pretty sad that that's, like, the fun part of my life, like, potentially losing thousands of dollars, but, like, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it, man. It's fun. Hell, yeah. Like, that, uh, what was the recent one? The IH, uh, IHT? That was in a double yeah, hold up? IH, bro. I, just, I was I, in I, that, I bro. Oh, really? Nice, man. That's awesome. I, I mean, I, I don't know how it ended, but um, I, every day this week, I feel like I've seen, like, somebody say IHT halted. Right? Literally, yeah. it, like every single day, it, it's going doing some crazy move. Uh, I I got caught in the the up halt once. Um, I I don't remember if I got out before the second up halt or if I was in that as well. But I made a lot of money on that one. And was LEDs in an up halt this week? I don't really remember, but I feel like it was. Um, wait, what, which one was that? I'm sorry, I uh, the trigger. Yeah, yeah, LEDs. Was that an up halt this week? Oh. L- I missed it, man. If I if I if I uh, I didn't see it, so oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. But if, I'm not sure, yeah. Hmm, I, yeah, I feel like it was, but I don't really remember. Um, yeah, I remember like being like the CCIV up halls, like those were sick. Like, oh like, yeah, so confidence that it's just gonna keep going, and like, um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I I'll, I, I'll talk about that for a sec if you don't mind. But no, go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, overall. I know a lot of people are really hot on EVs and right now, and you know, obviously, I think you know that's the future and everything. It's just like, but what's to say, like, you know, once these already like established car companies get this technology, like that, they're, yeah. they're, you know, they're gonna allow these uh, these rookies to come into their league. You know, like um, that was always like my you know bear sentiment towards it. Like, yeah, like TCIV is sick. Their cars are awesome and lucid. Like, but like. Are they really gonna like? Is a company like Ford or yep. uh, Mercedes when they get I hear this technology? Like, are they gonna allow that to like really you know make a dent? And like, if you even look at these car companies now, they don't trade that high. So yeah, uh, you know, for CCIV to be that high, I don't know. Well, and, and like companies like Tesla, they're just giving out the information willingly anyway. So these these other car companies, they can pick that up and, and they can make fully electric vehicles. What's gonna stop them, right? I mean, um, one that I think um, will be okay no matter what is probably Fisker, just because. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, I, I really like the Magnum deal. I don't know much about it, but um, they have a lot of good deals in place that I think are. And I and I don't have a position, so don't call me a pumper. But I think it's going to be fine. Just it's going to be a little longer. You pumping, bro? Closer, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> someone said that to me about Dogecoin. No. Like, I don't have any anymore? Yeah. I, was like, I don't have any right now. Like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. With with the amount of followers I have, I'm really I'm, I'm a pumper. I'm a I'm a pumper for sure. I know. Yeah, right? exactly right, dude. Like I ain't moving markets with four thousand followers. So. Yeah, bro. Somebody called me the other day. Uh, I I forget what I mentioned. I don't remember what ticker it was, but it was like a month or two ago. And they're like, "Oh, look, here's the here's the next baby pumper." And I was like, "Bro, fuck off!" Like, <laughs> like what do you mean? Oh my God. Yeah. These stocks play themselves, man. Like, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> that's too funny. So, <clears throat> let's, uh, let, let's take a little break from the stock market for a minute. Um, as far as, like, uh, I, I was talking to Fearless Trader a little bit about, uh, like, you know, what vehicles he likes. What, what's your, what's your dream vehicle to drive? What's your favorite car company? Oof. Um, you hit it big. What are you driving? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong with like a G wagon, right? Oh, man, uh, yeah, that's one for sure. Yeah, the G. Um, Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. There's so many nice. Oh, actually, the new Ferrari. It's sick. I don't know. New Ferrari. Yeah. What? what yeah, what's yeah, it called? Yeah, man, let's see. I I don't even know. I just been seeing it around lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. Awesome. Yeah, I, I forget what it's called, but. That's um, sick. Yeah, that's one for sure. Um, yeah. I don't know. What about you? Uh, for me personally, um, I you know, I've always been a, Ford that, uh, a fan of that uh, Ford GT. I like that one a lot. Uh, I also like the McLaren. 
That'd probably be what I would go to, I think. Like uh, like PG yeah, Matlock. He's got yeah, right. He's got that orange McLaren. It looks dope, dude. Yeah, that, that one is sick. Right. <clears throat> um, all right. Uh, so one more question I have for you is um, you're sponsored by uh, Benzinga Pro. It looks like that's so cool, dude. Uh, yeah, man. I just uh, I just linked up with him last week, actually. Wow. So, um, and uh, again, like. I, I wouldn't, you know, link up with them if I didn't think it was a product that's going to be, uh, you know, awesome for everybody. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, you sound pretty young, so I'll say this analogy, but, like, if you think about, like, remember, like, taking, like, tests or having, like, a graded homework assignment in high school? Like, right. imagine having the Quizlet, like, right there for you while you're, you know, taking this test or homework assignment. Like, right. for me, that that's, literally been single pro like it's literally like every piece of information that you could possibly need is right there for you oh, it's yeah. really not that expensive um i know they're in beta for their scanner i'm not sure you know where else people use to use a scanner i was using um Shinviz for a while um, yeah but now been single pro has it's literally right there for you and of course all the filings and stuff like that um yeah and you know Again, like going back to what I was saying before, it's like you got to beat the, you know, the quote unquote pumpers to the punch. You know, this is a great way to do it. You're going to get the information just as fast as they do now. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's a no brainer. So, um, but yeah, it was super cool because I never would have expected anything like that. I mean, uh, no, and I wasn't really like trying for it. It wasn't like my mission to get, you know, a, a partnership with Benzinga, but that's dumb. Um, yeah, when it happened, I was just like, holy shit. Because yeah. Going back to January when I was talking to my buddies, uh, <laughs> we were all hanging out, and I was just like, yeah, I actually have a stock burner account, and I have like 400 followers, and they were like, damn, 400 is pretty cool. And I was like, <laughs> we're going crazy. My friend made one in January. He's already over 1,000 followers. Yeah, yeah. Us, you know? Damn, that's so cool, man. I'll, I'll be over 1K yeah. cool, uh, soon, I think. I, I, I'll cut up to 900. I'm pretty excited. That's, that, all right, we got to give you a shout out, man. We got to. We gotta tell the people. Hell yeah, bro! <laughs> Let's get me to one k. I'd be so fucking uh, pumped for that. Um, so, man, I mean, I, I do like monthly like just shout outs, and I also have a list put together. If you guys um are interested, I actually tweeted definitely it today. It's just like a bunch of people that I follow that I would recommend that you know a lot of you know newer or you know uh, you know people who have been around. Just to follow, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Place to get them information, and it's, yeah, I saw and it's that. all free. So why not? You know, right? It, it, it's so dope, dude. Like, I, I, and that's that's what I love about you. It's just like you know, how can anyone start in this industry? It, it, you know, whether you pay or whether it's free, right? So that, that that's that's what I love the most. Um, yeah, I mean, and and I always say like, if it's if it has any value, it's going to cost money, like. Exactly. In a, in a sense, yeah, that's true. Like, when you have, like, a Benzingo, like, it's going to cost money, but, like, it's very valuable. You get what people you pay for. Are, are, like, people's opinions are free, right, exactly. Like, yeah. Um, you know, it's not that advanced technology, but they're going to get a lot of information just from reading other people's tweets, especially people who have been around a while or really dive deep into these um, certain companies. So yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or even learned how to, like, read <clears throat> filings and stuff. That's another thing that I think is, like, because they, you know, they throw in a million things in there, and then like that one line on like the fortieth page has something like super valuable, you know. So it's it, it's really good. Like I, I forget who said it, but somebody said it to me, and it really changed from changed the game a little bit for me. Was just copy and paste it, put it in a word document, and you know, control F, find whatever word that you're maybe keyword you're looking for. Hundred percent. And you know, it, it's a lot easier to do that than to read through that whole thing. Oh yeah, definitely. And it's funny with uh, with Benzinga. Um, I, I've actually been posting their pre-market gainers since I started trading. Every single day, mm -hmm. I post their pre-market gainers on my Twitter, and I think that's how I got a lot of my followers. So uh, yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. That that's that, part of my routine, man. That, yeah, no, I mean that's that's like that, I mean that's a huge uh, you know strategy to use. That was you know back when uh, I was more of like a you know a short swing or. Uh, even now with day trading, like I look and see where the volume is, like what sector it's going to, and you know all that. All that information is right there on Benzinga. Like, no brainer. Like, bro, go find where the money's going before yeah. you start throwing your money around. Bro, stupid shit. You know, right? One day it was crazy. It was like 
I was like, damn, everything is red right now except like Chinese education plays. I'm yeah. Like, Dude, why are these going crazy? And I was like, oh, all right, well, at least I found them now. And right? Make some money today. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. You know, that that's part of my daily routine is uh, one of the first things I do. And I, I only recently started tagging them in the polls. I, I should have been doing that the whole time because they probably would. I, I don't know if, if I'm bothering them or if they appreciate it, but uh, every single nah, morning. Yeah, yeah. Everybody I've talked to there is just super cool. I mean, like that's my sick. banner on uh, Twitter is like awesome. Um, I don't know her exact ticker, but it's Alyssa something. Um She's awesome with like graphic design. She made me a sweet uh, banner on there. And Hell yeah! Yeah, no, it's cool, bro. That's that's so sick. The Mando from Mandalorian. I, I'm such a Star Wars nerd, dude. Yeah, hopefully Disney doesn't come knocking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> or something. You know, that You're like Disney. I'm an investor. You can't you can't come for me. <laughs> yeah, that's why you know, I actually just bought like a two hundred fifty dollar freaking uh, like steel plated Mandalorian mask off. No. Bro, and it's a little different from the variation that they use in the show. So damn, yeah, dude, dude. Yeah, no, I gotta. I, I'll throw that on the. I'll throw that on the post. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tag uh, me in it. Tag me in it. Yeah, no, it's sweet. <laughs> it's got some green green markings on it, and so. Bro, I'm such a Star Wars fan. You know how many replica lightsabers I have? It's it's honestly oh, absurd. Awesome. It's absurd. Oh, no, that's great. <laughs> I, I used to be like. Uh, obviously, I'm still into it, but I was super into it when yeah, I was younger, yeah. man. I was like I all you. about it. But <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, yeah, man. So yeah, yeah. If uh, let's see if we have any questions here. Um, Criddle says, if you had to pick one, uh, Benzinga Pro or Trade Ideas. Um, I, I, I can't really speak for Trade Ideas. I mean, I haven't um, used them myself, I'm sure, so I'm sure, I'm sure it's good. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't know what the price tag it on it is. I mean, Benzinga Pro is, like, I wish I could, like, just, I mean, you can get a free trial on there. Um, my, the link's on my profile. Like, if you just go through with the free trial, I mean, you'll yeah. get to see everything on there if you want to test it out compared to other things. Um, Much cheaper. I like Benzinga. Yeah, I like it just because um, there's, there's like, live chats in there, and, and they also have videos, like, throughout the day on some you know, other speakers. I, I don't know exactly who has been speaking on there recently, but, uh, you know, to get some CEOs on there and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, especially on like, I, I know there's one, um, OCC company. Shit. And it's driving me nuts. I wish I could prepare <laughs> for this ticker, but, uh, oh my God, it's the, something with the V. I'll, I'll also post it. As okay. As I forget, but, um, my, my friend Luke, um, Luke K N O. U.S.E. on Twitter. Lucky gotcha. Luke. Okay, um, Lucky Luke. He, he's big on it. And uh, V-E-M-T, I think it is. V-E-M-T? It's, like some so, it's some sort of payment system that's going wild in, like, the Philippines. Um, gotcha. Like, Vietnam, places like that. Yeah, they, they had their CEO on, and it was like, holy shit, this dude sold me. Like, he's, he's awesome. I didn't get in it right away, but, you know, it's a long-term play. Um, that could okay. be one, but it's it's cool to see like what other companies are doing and like how their you know higher ups are talking about it. So I I mean I you, you can't go wrong with Benzinger Pro. I don't know about the other one to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I know so, it's expensive. Yeah, I mean, just try it out. Yeah, yeah, just try. Oh, it is trade idea. Yeah, it's it's like uh, what is it, chat? It's 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 like two thousand um, dollars up front for the year or something like that. Holy and I, and I think that's the discount, bro. I think that's the discount. I think it's like yeah, up to four nah, grand. Um, it, I mean, if you use my link on Benzinga Pro, I'm pretty sure I can get you like 25. percent Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's right I'll there on screen, guys. That. Yeah, it's it's on there somewhere. I think I can get you 25. percent I would say use it before you sign up for it. Um, yeah. Just get just it, you know see if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, it is what it is. But if it works for you, it's I, I like I like it a lot just because. If I feel like I can be, you know, one of the big gurus to it, yeah, win from it, you know, right? They'll pump it for and, you, and, and then you make money. And imagine, <laughs> exactly. And imagine, imagine when the market starts to turn, right? And oh like, my god, these things dude. go crazy again. Yeah, and like you know, it's it's got to happen at some point, right? So oh. I want to be prepared as possible, and that's why I use this time, like where the market was kind of trash, to yeah. to learn new things. Like, that's what I keep you know, saying. Like, and, if if you can make yeah. money in this market right now imagine when the market turns into January again. 
we're all going to be fucking millionaires, dude. Like, it's it's yeah. insane. If you can make money right now, you're laughing, bro. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I totally believe that. I mean, like, you really have to do your time, for sure. And, it's yeah. just like, and then I think the hardest thing that we're going to have to deal with at that point is just, like, not being too greedy, you know, um, yeah. because you always think, oh, it hit this dollar, it's going to go to the next one up, and, like, that's not always the case. So it's, you know... Um, I think that's going to be a different type of hard, you know. I yeah. don't think the game's ever going to be too easy, but it'll be a lot easier when you're not, like, hemorrhaging money and you're making it instead, you know? Exactly. Yeah, if, if you can last in this market now, uh, you're going to be laughing when things go uh, a bit more to the bullish side, which has to happen at some point. Stocks can only come down so much. Right now, everything's so right. freaking cheap, dude. So um, we, have, we have a question here from uh, Pocket. He says, can you ask him if he uses a lot of technical analysis when he trades? Uh, what, what's your technical analysis like when you, t uh, let's say for a day trade? Um, I really, I, I kind of just use Fib, man. I, I, I don't go too crazy with uh, all the squiggly lines on the screen. Yeah. Uh, just, just because, um, you know, that really wasn't my style in the past. Like, even when I was, um, you know, when I was going into longer, you know, a little bit longer swings and stuff like that, I, I was really, you know, more focused on, like, what was coming up and external things uh, that were going to affect the ticker rather than, you know, do, do I know about, like, you know, simple moving average? Totally. Like, RSI is one that I think, you know, I, I think that's a no-brainer to have on the bottom. You know, it gives you a good idea, especially if something really oversold, you know, it's coming back a little bit. Um, but if you're, if you're in, if you're in a trade and you know how to, um, use Fibonacci, I think that right off the bat, it's going to be, um, you know, super helpful for you. And it's, like I said, it's really not that hard to learn. Like, yeah. And once you, once you've done that, that's going to give you those levels. Like, you know, what you, you might see it on, on Twitter, you know, one of your favorite gurus might say, Oh, uh, you know, we have a 1036 break here. If it breaks it, it's gone. It's like, they're not just pulling these numbers out of their ass. They're using Fibonacci and, like, they well, yeah. know, like if it breaks that level, it's going it's to take the next leg up. Like, the other day, I was looking at, um, I was in Fubu call, uh, Fubo call, and I saw it broke to the upside, and and I was like, oh, now I know. Well, I'm, I'm about to print. It's going up to the next level. And then, you know, you see it hit the top, and you can make your decision there. Is it going to rip more? Can you take some profits? You know, so right. I, I think that's um, a super important one. I mean, when I was, like, I was trying to, like, just scalp for, like, pennies a couple months ago, I was using um, uh, the SMA RSI indicators, like, yeah. Um, and I was, I was messing around with MACD, and I, I just think it's, like, a little too much for me. It's really never worked for me, so. No, I don't I like the MACD anymore. For, yeah, roll with what you know the hot hand there because and, and another thing it's like you can have like all this technical analysis and like everything going your way and it's looking great and then you know the president uh, or Powell starts speaking and then everything right. shifts a bit so it's like exactly. it, you know I, I I would value that kind of you know stuff more in a sense uh, than you know specific uh, you know indicators. Gotcha. Uh, we got a question from Omega Three Vitamin. Uh, if a company has 1.77 million outstanding shares, what do you look in the books to make it a long-term decision besides revenue and gross profit? So you're, you're talking more about um, like as a, as a long-term investment? Is that, is that what I'm getting? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I mean, it, it really just, I think it's really dependent on the company itself. I mean... Um, if you're worried about like how many you know shares it has, and it's not like an OTC, like if, if a company has like 20 billion you know shares outstanding, like I'm, I'm probably not going to buy it. Like yeah, you know, like a, a ticker like to talk about on that is like SNBL. I will never ever ever trade that ticker again. I I, I did right. really well on it, but every time I look, there's another offering that they have, and yeah. there's like a billion freaking shares. There. I can't, <laughs> so I ain't touching that. I'm not touching it. I mean. The, the first time I I'm, I got really lucky because I, I made you know a, a good a good amount and then they hit me with like a Friday afternoon offering and this thing dumped and, yeah. and I was like oh you gotta be kidding. I'm never trading this shit again right and that's when it went crazy I think it was February 
Um, and I held on until I like, got three dollars or something like that. And um, you know, so obviously, like it helped me there. But I was just like, never again. Like this shit sucks. And you know, it's just a company that I'm not really gonna trust that they're just gonna continue to continuously add shares. Like that's, that's not for me. I mean, especially like the Friday afternoon offering. Like, come on, dude. Are you kidding? I know. And this was and this was before I even switched over to uh, Weeble, so I couldn't even like do anything. Oh so. fuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh yep, God. and that's another thing. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not going to say that Weeble is the best one to use. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people that like to use Ameritrade, um, E-Trade. Um, I know Canada and you know other countries use different ones, but yeah. Uh, like, just really be careful with Robinhood. That really scares me. Um, when all that crap was going down. Bro, get uh, out of Robinhood. I, get out I, of it. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't get out of that fast enough. I, I had a Weeble account, which was good, and I just transferred everything over. But yeah, um, I was. I was just nervous that when all that stuff was happening, like people were really gonna like tank Robinhood. So like, is my money gonna get tied up in there for? Right? I know I was insured, but how long was that gonna take for me to get my damn money out? You exactly. know exactly. So I, I was just really scared, and I was like, all right, I gotta get get a, get the hell out of this <laughs> thing. You know, definitely, I hear you. I mean, I, and I mean, I use it still for Doge, honestly, because that's like the only place I can get it. But like, right. uh, otherwise, I, I don't, I don't, I don't touch it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. And, uh, and you'll warm up to Weeble. A lot of people don't like the uh, interface, like at first, uh, including myself. But I, I started to like it a lot now. No, I, I like Weeble. I, I can't trade from it in Canada, but that's what I use for literally all of my charting. Like, I, I, I yeah. really like Weeble. Yeah, I use I use Weeble. Um, with my TD account, I have the access to TOS, which I, I like as well. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like they're a little laggy, and they're not they're not matched up completely. Um, I know they're like really advanced like options um, uh, trading platforms. I, I know SoFlow uses one, but I don't know exactly which one it is. But yeah, I, I I think the platform, like having faith in your platform, is also a pretty important thing that <laughs> kind of underrated. I hear you. Um, all right, uh, so if anyone uh, has any more questions, you can post in the chat. Um, if not, I think uh, we're going to kind of wrap things up here. Uh, that was great, man, of trading. I'd love to have you on again, bro, if you're down. Yeah, man, anytime. And, um, you know, to anybody listening, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions, DMs are always open. You know, feel free to shoot me uh, a message. If I can't answer it, I'll try and find somebody that can. So, um, yeah, you know, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no worries, man. And I got to have you on Stock Talk. You're, you yeah. On Stock Talk one of these times. Bro, you get me on. on. Monday nights. I, I got to plug Stock Talk because it's me and my boy from home. 100%. You know, we've, we've been boys since we were, like, 15. So, uh, yeah, me and Terminator Trading, we, uh, you know, every other Sunday night, we try and get, a, you know, a, a pretty, you know, influential, uh, you know, furu on. And we, we kind of just talk about, like, where they – you know, where they got their start, like what they like to use, um, you know, what, you know, they're looking at, you know, when they want to go in for, you know, maybe a long-term investment or a quick swing, something like that. Gotcha. So, uh, again, so much information out there. You guys, yeah, yeah. you know, all succeed in this. You just got to have confidence. It's the most important thing in life. hundred percent. I love that. Yeah. Any, anytime you want to have me on, bro, I'm totally down. I'd love to come on and we can flip the tables. You can interview me. How, how's that? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I, dude, I, I mean, um, I'm not sure if you follow the term yet, but uh, I, I know at some point he was listening in. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, dude, it'll be fun. We'll kick back a little bit and we we'll keep it brief, you know, a little short, like 20, 15 minute thing. And, uh, no, that's great. Yeah, we try to get as much information out of these guys as possible in a short amount Definitely. of time, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to follow Terminator uh, right after this uh, stream. Maybe we'll get him on Sweet. next weekend for a little interview. That'd be that'd be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, um, man, I, his story is much, much different than mine. Me and him, wow. you know, we're, like, best friends. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, we're, uh, you know, in two totally different, uh, you know, working environments. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot different, you know, how we both go about our trading. I think it's cool Love to that. hear, you know, because – you know, some people don't have time to look at the screen all day long. Or, exactly. You know, a lot at least. So, so uh, uh, yeah. For uh, him, uh, I know he doesn't look much. On that, I have one more question for you. Successful. Yeah. 
Um, so do you have a full-time job or are you just trading at this point? Yeah, so, um, you know, actually last, not last week, the week before last, I actually finished my master's. Um, and, you know, I'm going to be back on the job hunt. I, I've worked for, um, you know, the past couple of years during grad school, you know, not like a serious full-time job, but, um, I've been working there. I actually have my own business. I'm still huge wow. in the sports scene. So, um, you know, I, I have a bunch of baseball teams that I coach and, you know, organize and, you know, administrate, but, um, but yeah, now I'm, I'm going to be back on the job on a little bit unless trading takes me uh, full time, which I would absolutely love, but I'm not quite there yet. So I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. Uh, me too, bro. I'm going to uh, hold off on that a little bit, but the next couple of weeks while I'm, you know, doing my, uh, my, uh, what the fuck do we call them? The, re- the resumes and postings and stuff like that. I'm going to yeah. be uh, a little more active, so I'm super excited for that. I hear you. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. What about you? Are you full time or? You- yeah, bro. So I, I work full time at a uh, at a, a wastewater treatment plant. So I put up with people's shit all day. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, no, dude. I listen. I I I love baseball. I, I love everything about it. I, all the kids that I coach are just, just really great kids. You know, Bro, I, I that's awesome. I my best to help them get into college, continue playing and stuff like that. Love that. Um, yeah, I, but it, even over the, like, the last five years, I'm not old, but like even over the last five years, like I've seen like this huge change in society as a whole, and it's just it's very different, man. Just yeah. Like, um, you know, the parents are a lot more involved. Um, you know, in the past, you know, you know, if I was getting yelled at by my coach, my parents would be like, all right, toughen up. Like, yeah, he, right. He's yelling at you for a reason. He <laughs> hate you. Like, he's trying to make you better. So, exactly. Uh, you know, I had to, like, kind of tailor my whole style to this new age. And, you know, uh, not that I was ever a yeller or anything like that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, just be, like, really more careful with, you know, the way I speak and the tone you speak. Because, like, that's, like, another thing. It's so, like, underrated. It's, like, you could say two things, they're the same sentence, and you say it in two different tones. I mean, it's two completely different things. So it's like there's a lot more that goes into it when you deal with people on a daily, and I, I feel, you know, where you're coming from on that. So, yeah, right. Uh, you know, respect to you. you Thank know, we're, you. We're in it together, and, you know, <laughs> hopefully someday we'll be full time at this. Oh, yeah, bro. I, and I'm hoping soon. I You know, I put on Twitter there, uh, I'm going to be a millionaire in two years, and I'm very serious about that. Um, I, I honestly do Dude. think I'll be a millionaire in two years. I give myself a Have year. That goal, man. Exactly. I give myself a year for fuck ups, and then the year after that, I should be polished, and you guys will see me become a millionaire right before your eyes. So whoever wants to join me, uh, make sure you have that follow on. And, and same with Mando Trading too. If you guys aren't following him, uh, I don't know what you're doing. You better you better get on your Twitter right now and uh, hit him up to follow because uh, he's gonna be right there with me. Yeah, I'm all in on that millionaire train, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm coming for the ride, too. Let's yeah, go, bro. Let's do it, man. That'd be awesome. Let's go. Love that. And I'll come up to Canada. We'll, we'll, we'll catch a Blue Jays game. Bro, let's go. 100%, yeah, dude. No, Have to. I, I do. It's so funny, but I literally don't even have my passport. I've never left the country. Bro, so, me no, either. <laughs> yeah, no. We got, we got to get out more, man. Right? <laughs> that's so funny mine just expired and i, I haven't gotten it uh, renewed yet my sister just got her i was like yo so how did you do that again? yeah right how does yeah, that work like, where do i go yeah, i'm allowed to leave the country wait what <laughs> yeah seriously <laughs> that's so funny uh, i'm gonna go ahead and drop uh five gifted subs guys thank you for listening so whoever gets those five gifted subs I appreciate you. It's processing right now. Um, thank you so much for coming on, Mando Trading. I, uh, seriously, bro, it, it, it's been a pleasure. I love talking to you. You know, you you're very you're very good at. Uh, I can see why you do stock talks and why it's successful because you have a lot of insight. You're good at talking to people. Uh, I'd love to have you on again. Um, yeah, man. This is great. You. I appreciate you having me. Everybody listening, I appreciate it. And again, like like I said. You know, I'm I'm still you know a pretty much uh, you know a rookie or a sophomore in this game. Me too. Uh, you know, I, I may have you know uh, in the past you know dabbled a little bit, but I haven't really been as serious about it uh, since the last two years. So if you're just starting now and you know things suck, like just stay positive. You just got to really build up your skill set and your confidence. Hundred percent. The most important thing in life, in my opinion, is confidence. If you don't have it, you're in trouble. 
you got to find it somehow and you know everybody everybody can find it you know you just got to believe in yourself a little bit agree uh, and yeah you everybody will be all right so that's amazing advice thank you uh mandela i really appreciate that um, anytime man so i'll catch you soon we'll get on a spaces or something like that yeah bro it hit me up I, i'm yeah. totally down Any, i'm always free all the time so <laughs> all right anytime you need me let me know 100 is there <laughs> all right man sounds good 100 appreciate it Everybody thank you else. so much bro good night. i'll catch you guys soon all right thank you so much uh mando trading uh you can mute yourself in the in the discord that's great thank you so much for joining today mando all right so guys it's uh, back to just your boy 100. Uh, we're gonna crank up the music here. That was Mando Trading. He's on the screen right now. Go follow, go use his code to sign up for Benzinga Pro, all right? Uh, that'll get you access to all kinds of uh, key features that you guys need to be professional traders. And it's way cheaper than Trade Ideas and uh, any of those other services out there. So please check out his, uh, his Benzinga Pro link. You guys will thank him later, all right? So coming up here now, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Parker, Jordan Parker, are you in the chat right now? <clears throat> if you're in the chat, please hit a one, and I'd like you to hop into 100 Crew Discord and uh, come into chat with me. I'll have you on, and we'll chat more about stocks uh, and, and do some drinking. You're here? All right, jump into the boardroom if, if you're there, and uh, we'll get you on. And when you're when you're in there, just unmute and you can start talking for sure. And we're just gonna chill for another half an hour, forty five minutes, something like that, till eleven o'clock, and uh, that'll be it. <clears throat> I've got a shot here ready to go, guys. So anyone who uh, who's doing a shot right now, you want to take a shot with uh, one hundred, your boy. <laughs> Everyone's like, wow, 100's an alcoholic. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Let's go, Jeff! Woo! Hell yeah, bro! <clears throat> I've done enough of my life, bro. <laughs> I hear you, Benji. I burned one for you. Hell yeah. 100 shots, says Pocket. Love that. Uh, congratulations on the, uh, the sub, Pocket. Hopefully, all you guys are going to resub for me. All right? That would be freaking awesome. We hitting up LCBO? Bro, what time is it there? For me, LCBO is closed. Shots are better than the mixer. Uh, well, that's what I was doing earlier. I had these, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, Dark and Stormies. That's what I was drinking earlier. But now I'm just, uh, I, got, I got a shot of, uh, shot of rum here with me. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Jordan Parker should be hopping into 100 Crew Discord in the Trading Voice chat very shortly. We'll do a little countdown, all right? To uh, Let's do a five-minute countdown to uh, Mr. Jordan Parker. Give him some time to get in the chat. All right, guys? You guys are the freaking best, dude. You turn the music a little bit, get you guys hyped. For Jordan Parker in the chat, all right? I'm just going to run uh, to the bathroom again. I swear uh, I'm younger than, than 45. I just have to go to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> One sec.
Don't change a thing now, there was never trust Don't you say a word, cause I've heard it all You were just a pain when you felt it all All right, all right, traders. Do we have uh, Mr. Parker in the chat? Here, I'm going to send him a message, see where he's at. Let me just send Mr. Parker a message here. All right, how is that guy? He's talking to Mando Trading, all right? Freaking awesome for him to come on. That was great. Does anyone have a shot right now lined up? I want to do a shot with you guys. We're going to have Mando on again as well. He was real cool to have on. So much insight. Am I right? Who wants to do a shot with me right now? Techno Queen of Tesla wants to do a shot with me? Where's Queen of Tesla? Do a shot of water. That's fine with me. Okay, guys, as soon as this countdown is over, 55 seconds, I'm going to do a shot. All right? With you live. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Benji with the pear and the grape. Love that. All right? Probably gonna keep straight until around 11 o'clock. Uh, Mr. Jordan Parker is trying to get his uh, microphone set up for chat. All right. Guys, if you learned a ton from Mando Trading, can you post a one in the chat? All right. Hit me with that one. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, shots! Ah. Woo! Oh man. Woo. Oh, see the shot of uh, rum there. <laughs> 